PowerDirector 16 offers four ways to zoom and crop your video and or create picture-in-picture. -picture. In this episode, I'm going to show you the first technique. This is episode 8 in a series on how to edit drone video, action camera video, or any other type of video using CyberLink PowerDirector 16. If you are new to PowerDirector 16, click the link in the upper right corner of this video for a complete playlist and start learning from the first episode. Before I move on, if you want to learn more about using PowerDirector, click the little cartoon Jeff on the screen right now to subscribe and click that little bell icon so you'll be notified when I post again. Also, if you want to buy PowerDirector, please use the link in the description below. If you do, CyberLink will contribute to this channel at no extra cost to you. Thanks for supporting the channel. Three popular effects for video editors are Zoom, Crop, and Picture-in-Picture. -picture. Zoom and Crop are terms that are often used interchangeably, but they're not quite the same. It sounds like I'm arguing semantics, but the truth is, depending on what you're trying to accomplish, PowerDirector has at least four different ways of zooming, cropping, and or creating picture-in-picture. -picture. The technique you use is determined by the effect you want to create. I'm going to release videos to demonstrate the four techniques and show you how each one works. After watching these explanations, you'll better understand the differences between zoom, crop, and picture-in-picture, -picture, and be able to produce all three effects in your productions. This video will show you the first of the four techniques. Let's start with the easiest approach to zoom a video clip in PowerDirector, which is to do it directly through the edit screen. This is a very fast and useful technique. If you're editing drone video and action camera video, I bet you use this approach frequently. Not only because it's so fast and easy, but because it solves problems you normally want to fix when shooting video with drones and GoPros. Here's a clip of some drone footage. We're looking at the clip in the edit screen in PowerDirector 16. When I preview it, you can see that the landing gear pops in and out along the left edge of the screen. We're going to fix that by zooming in a little so that part of the clip doesn't appear on screen. Once I select the clip on the timeline, let's look at our preview window. Now, there are a couple of quick terms that I want to describe to you. Aspect ratio is the proportions of width versus height of your video clip or the screen itself. Common aspect ratios are 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. For most video situations, you'll probably want to use 16 by 9. The viewing area of the screen is that part of your screen which actually appears in your finished video production. For example, if I were to render this video right now, everything you see in this rectangle would appear in the final product. By default, when you add a clip to the timeline, your clip will fill the entire viewing area of your project screen as long as the aspect ratio of the clip matches your project. So, in this situation, what you are seeing is the entire clip from left to right and top to bottom displayed to fill the viewing area. Anything outside this clip will not appear during a playback. It is off screen. Right now, the viewing area is the same as the clip. Everything fits, so everything is displayed. We're going to change that. Let's give ourselves a little room to work with. Under the preview screen, you see a pull-down box with the word Fit chosen. Let's click on that and choose 25%. Now you can see we have a little more screen space to work with. Notice that around the edges of the clip, we have white boxes or nodes. By clicking and dragging these nodes, we can move our video in and out. We want to get rid of the left edge of this clip where the landing gear appears. So I'm going to grab the top left node and pull it out a little. Notice that my video clip increases in size. In effect, we have zoomed in. We have expanded the clip beyond the boundary of the viewing area of the screen. Anything outside the viewing area will not be shown in our final production. In fact, anything outside the viewable area doesn't even show up here. In this case, we have eliminated, or cropped out, the left edge where the landing gear appeared. Let's change our view back to fit for a better look. Hit preview, and you see the landing gear is gone. 
that's a very practical use for zoom, particularly for drone pilots who are constantly dealing with props and landing gear entering their shots. In my first example, I zoomed in just a little to fix a problem with drone footage. Now I'm going to zoom more to improve the composition of the image. If you use an action camera, you'll find this to be very helpful. Those wide-angle lenses capture a lot of real estate, and being able to zoom in will help you improve your videos immensely. I'll use some GoPro footage showing me being attacked by a vicious tiger for this example. By the way, if you plan to use a zoom, you need to be shooting at the highest resolution your camera or drone and your computer will support. I'll explain all that in another video. If that video has been posted, you'll see a link to that in the upper right corner of the screen right now. So let's improve the composition of this video clip with a zoom created right here in the edit screen. Make your view 25% so you have more room to work. Click a node in the corner and drag out. This time we'll drag out quite a bit. I'll drag some more using another node. Now you can see that we're only using a small part of the total image in our viewable space. Our zoom shifted to the center of our image in the direction I dragged out. In this case, I want to shift the center back. I click on the image and drag it slightly to the side to get the composition I want. Let's change our preview to fit and you can see that we have zoomed significantly to focus the composition on the tiger and me in the middle of the scene. Hit play. By zooming in the edit screen, we can not only zoom in on our clip, we can also create picture in picture. Let's go back to our first sample clip. You can now see that I actually have two videos stacked up to play simultaneously. If I hit the play button in preview, both videos will play, but all you're going to see is one video, the one that is lowest on the timeline. An easy way to remember this is to go by track numbers. Track 2 is on top of track 1, track 3 is on top of track 2, and so on. Fortunately, if we make the video on top smaller, it will hover over the other video in our final production. Click on the clip in track 2 to select it. As before, the nodes appear around the clip on our preview. We don't need to change our view this time because we're not expanding our image. This time we will click and drag in rather than out. As I do this, see how the clip gets smaller and the background clip appears? Just drag your clip in to the size you want and let go. As you can see here, you can move this around to anywhere on your screen. I like to move the inset image up and in a little bit so it's not right on the edge. Hit play. We now have picture in picture as simple as that. Notice something though, we lost all the benefits of the zoom we did earlier. The inset image is fully displayed including the left edge where the landing gear appeared. Zooming in and out with the edit screen is fast and easy, but it is limited. You can zoom and you can create picture in picture, but you can't crop your inset clip during picture in picture. To do that, we need to use a different tool. And this leads me to the second tool that performs zooms and crops, which is the Crop Zoom tool. I'll cover the Crop Zoom tool in the next episode, so be sure to subscribe so you know when that video is posted. Thanks for watching. Remember, sharing is caring. If you would share this video on social media, I would really appreciate your help. On screen, you'll find a link to the complete playlist of PowerDirector 16 video editing tutorials, so please check them out. If you want more tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you know when more videos are released. Next video coming soon.